Welcome back to HeartWise, the ultimate heart health series. Today we're talking about a significant factor in heart disease, cholesterol. You've probably heard terms like good cholesterol and bad cholesterol, but what does it all mean? In this episode, we're breaking down cholesterol's role in heart disease, the difference between LDL and HDL, and how you can manage your cholesterol levels to protect your heart. Cholesterol is a type of fat in your blood that is essential for building cells and producing certain hormones. However, having too much of the wrong type of cholesterol can lead to heart disease. You need to know about two main types, LDL or bad cholesterol, and HDL or good cholesterol. So what's the difference between LDL and HDL, and how do they impact your heart? LDL is called bad cholesterol. HDL is called good cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is like a troublemaker. It sticks to the walls of your arteries. This forms plaque. Over time, plaque hardens and narrows your arteries. HDL cholesterol is like a cleanup crew. It picks up excess cholesterol. Then it carries it back to your liver. Your liver removes it from your body. Having high LDL cholesterol increases your risk for heart disease. Having high HDL cholesterol protects your heart. So while your body needs cholesterol, it's all about balance. Too much LDL and too little HDL can spell trouble for your heart. But how exactly does cholesterol lead to heart disease? Atherosclerosis is a disease. When there's too much LDL cholesterol in your blood, it starts to stick to the walls of your arteries, forming plaques. This plaques is a problem. Imagine a hose with water flowing through it. What happens if the hose gets clogged? The water can't flow as easily, it might even stop completely. Your arteries are like that hose. When plaque builds up, it's like the clog. This makes it hard for blood to flow through. If a plaque ruptures, it can form a blood clot, which may block an artery entirely and cause a heart attack or stroke. Atherosclerosis is a silent disease. You might not know you have it until it's too late. That's why it's so important to keep your cholesterol in check. But how do you know where you stand and what can you do to keep your cholesterol in a healthy range? What affects your cholesterol levels? Well, one factor is genetics. Genetics can influence how your body processes cholesterol. Some people have inherited conditions like familial hypercholesterolemia that cause very high LDL levels, even if they eat well and exercise. If you have a family history of high cholesterol or heart disease, it's essential to be proactive about regular screenings and management. This means they might have to work harder to keep their cholesterol levels down. Another factor is diet. Eating too much saturated and trans fat raises your LDL cholesterol. These unhealthy fats are found in many processed foods and fried foods. Don't worry, you have the power to take charge of your cholesterol levels. Cholesterol levels should be checked regularly, especially if you have a family history of high cholesterol or heart disease. A simple blood test, called a lipid panel, will show your LDL, HDL, and total cholesterol levels. One important change is to eat a heart-healthy diet. Avoid trans fats and limit your intake of saturated fats in red meat and full-fat dairy products. Focus on a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats like olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish. Another important change is to get regular exercise. Physical activity helps boost your HDL, the good cholesterol, and can lower your LDL, the bad cholesterol. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate weekly exercise, like walking, cycling, or swimming. Too much alcohol can lead to high cholesterol and high blood pressure. If you drink, do so in moderation, up to one drink per day for women and two for men. Quitting smoking can improve your HDL levels and help protect your heart. Smoking contributes to the damage of your arteries and makes it easier for plaques to form. Being overweight, especially if you carry extra fat around your midsection, can raise LDL and lower HDL levels. Losing even a small amount of weight can improve your cholesterol. Maintaining healthy cholesterol levels is a lifelong journey. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. By making gradual changes to your lifestyle, you can make a big difference in your heart health. To wrap it up, here's what we've learned today. Keep your cholesterol levels balanced. Aim for low LDL and high HDL. Follow a heart-healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats. Stay active to improve your cholesterol and heart health. Get regular cholesterol screenings, especially if you have a family history of heart disease. Consult with your doctor about medications like statins if needed. Remember, minor changes add up over time. Every healthy choice you make is a step towards a healthier heart. 
So, lace up those sneakers, fill your plate with colorful fruits and veggies, and keep your ticker ticking strong. Thanks for tuning in to HeartWise today. If you found this episode helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on heart health. And remember, new episodes come out every Saturday at noon. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.